just want to say good evening to everyone, and I hope you're enjoying your um, night tonight. Um, on behalf of Ed Class 580, I would like to thank once again Professor Gonzalez, Professor Frumpkin, and Sue Rosenberg for making our service learning project and our experiences this semester a possibility. Um, being that we are a small class, as you can see, we were fortunate to have the opportunity for Verizon and Wacker College to uh, fund a grant for us to do our service learning project in Montana. Um, our project was to study the curriculum of the Native Americans in Montana on the Crow Reservation for one week. Uh, the point of our project was to gain an understanding of culture and what it means to be culturally sensitive. Most importantly, we were able to capture these moments as part of our thesis. And part of our thesis was referred to as digital ethnography. And that is the presentation you will be seeing shortly. Um, this presentation was a collection of quotes and experiences that we observed in different schools in Montana. We observed an elementary school, um, a college, and we also observed different lectures about the history of American Indians. Um, we also did things a little differently this, this semester. So instead of having the four phases, we had three phases that centered around diversity and community. Our first phase was a narrative of a group during student teaching that reflected diversity and culture, but we also adapted different lessons that would differentiate um, between um, different students with disabilities and cultural backgrounds. Um, we also, uh, in phase two, we comprised a digital ethnography, and that was a collection also of our um, of what we thought was significant, a uh, significant part of the Montana trip. Um, in phase three, we had a place-based learning, and that's where we adapted a lesson plan that would be taught in Montana. And the point of this was to apply the knowledge and skills we learned about American Indians, but to also share diversity in a cross-cultural cross exchange. Um, before we went to Montana, uh, we had the opportunity for a red storm. Uh, they're a part of Staten Island, and they go around and educate people in, in uh, different elementary schools, just around St the Staten Island community, and anywhere. And they gave us the opportunity to really educate us about American Indians, and their culture, and their customs, and their traditions. And we, they came in and they did a dance for us, and I believe I, uh, the dance was a, a grass dance. And we also learned about the fancy shawl dance, and they were very accommodating. We also had the opportunity for the people on the pro reservation to come in and tell us firsthand what we were going to observe and what we were going to see. Um, I have to say, the first week, um, when they told us that we were going to be there for one week on a reservation, I thought, gee, what are we going to do, you know? And we were just busy from the get-go. And I have to say, by the end, I think all of us would agree when we said we wanted to stay on the reservation. I was so touched by how the minute we came there, they just welcomed us, and they cooked dinner for us every night. And there were so many significant moments that stuck out in my mind. And one of them was uh, Peggy on the reservation. We had uh, one day where we had to deliver food um, to poor, um, poor neighborhoods. And when we got home that day, she had told us all these stories in her life that uh, really touched us and all these difficult uh, obstacles that she had to overcome in her life. And I looked up, and I was crying, and Sue Rosenberg was crying. And that's when things became real. You know, they weren't just our teachers there, but we made a real um, emotional connection and bond. Uh, another significant moment that stuck, in, stuck out of my mind, and uh, Melanie over here, we observed at the Crow School. And we were eating lunch in the cafeteria, and uh, some things were hard to take. 
uh, you store children with disabilities and, and handicapped. And there was one kid, and he seemed to have trouble eating, and I'm not sure um, quite what he had, but he made a certain connection with Melanie in the few minutes that he saw her. And he got up, and he looked at her, and he went around, and he went in her lap. And Melanie was feeding him, and he was just smiling and, and making all these noises. And that's, again, another experience when it becomes real. And even though we were here to study the curriculum and know all about um, American Indian culture and different cultures, we got so much more out of the trip. And so I, I'd just like to thank um, everyone who made this trip possible. And what I would like to end with is, I think I was trying to get to it before, was uh, something that Peggy had said in her story. And she said, your heart is a treasure box. And whatever you take with you, you keep that and you put it um, in your heart. And that's a permanent lock. And I think that all of us had a significant moment or a moment each night that we can take with us. I know firsthand that I enjoyed playing hand games and going around in a circle doing the Indian chant and, and trying to do the fancy shawl dance and we kind of felt silly. But as we got more comfortable with everyone, I think that we just we just sat back and we enjoyed. We learned, but it was so much more than that. So I I hope that um, that you will feel free to ask any questions. And I know if there's anything I forgot, um, Professor Gonzalez and Professor Franken and Sue Rosenberg or anyone else or these ladies here would be more than willing to answer your questions. So please sit back and enjoy our. Um,